Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. The kind of hallelujah I want you to shout tonight is the kind that will bring the fire down. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor, Jesus. Almighty, we worship you, the baptizer by fire. We magnify your holy name. The one who cannot be stopped, the one who cannot be hindered, the one who reigns supreme, the owner of his church the defender of the redeemed Christian Church of God. We worship you. Accept our worship in Jesus' name. Tonight, Father, let the fire fall. Everything in our lives that is not of God, let your fire consume. At the end of it all, let your name be glorified. In Jesus' marvelous name, we have prayed. Amen. Let someone shout hallelujah. Ah, shake hands with one or two people, prophesy to them and say, you will receive a rod of fire tonight. And then you may please be seated. God bless you. Second King chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 9 to 15. Second Kings 2, 9 to 15. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou art as a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I'm taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass that they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a wild wind into heaven. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof, and he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. 
He took off also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted hither and thither, and Elisha went over. And when the sons of the prophets which were to view at Jericho saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him. This month our theme, as you know, is the rod of fire. Elijah was known, basically, as the divine fire carrier. We were looking for a man who carried fire, the fire of God, in his mouth, in his ministry. A very good example would be Elijah. In 1 Kings chapter 18, from verse 36 to 39, 1 Kings 18, 36 to 39, he prayed for just about two minutes, and fire fell from heaven. In 2 Kings chapter 1, from verse 9 to 12, 2 Kings 1, from verse 9 to 12, two times he commanded fire to come down from heaven, and fire came. Yes, enemy soldiers had come to arrest him, and he had commanded fire to fall and consume them, My fire fell and consumed them. I have good news for someone. Before this week is over, any enemy that is trying to arrest you will be consumed by fire. Now, when he was about to leave, he asked Elisha, what do you want? Elisha said, that kind of fire ministry that you carry, that kind of fire anointing, I want a double portion of it. Mm. Elijah said, son, you are greedy. That which I carry is already mighty enough. The boy said, you are the one who asked me to ask. And I've told you what I want. Is anybody here tonight who need a rod of fire? Let me hear you shout hallelujah. Well, Elijah said, well, you can have what you have asked for, provided you see me when I'm being taken away from you. Well, you know the rest of the story. Elisha saw him, and got a symbol of that ministry of fire. And that symbol happens to be the mantle of Elijah. So when we talk about the rod of fire, one good example of the rod of fire is the mantle of Elijah that Elisha picked up. Now, what has that got to do with Holy Communion service? The condition that Elijah gave is if God will supernaturally open the eyes of Elisha to see him, 
when he was to be taken away from him. Now there's someone greater than Elijah. His name is Jesus Christ. The Bible describes him not just as the carrier of the fire of God, but as the one who can baptize with fire. Matthew chapter 3, verse 11 to 12. Matthew 3, from verse 11 to 12. He will baptize you with fire. But the condition remains. If you see me, if your eyes are supernaturally opened. And that brings us to the story in Luke chapter 24 from verse 13 to 35. Luke 24, 13 to 35. It tells us the story of two people who are on their way on a journey to a village called Amos. As they were going, Jesus joined them. But their eyes were withheld. That's, that's, the, that's the way the Bible puts it. They had eyes, physical, they could see the road. They could even see somebody talking to them. But their eyes were withheld. So they didn't recognize who was walking with them. Then when they got to where they were going, Jesus behaved as if he wanted to go further. And they said, please, it's getting dark. Stay with us for the night. And he agreed. Then the Bible said as they were about to eat, he took bread. And as he broke the bread, suddenly the eyes of the two were opened and they recognized him. And the Bible said he then disappeared from their sight. Tonight, as we break bread, and that's another name for Holy Communion, God is about to open the eyes of someone. And at long last, you begin to recognize who Jesus is. A recognition that Jesus Christ is the healer brings healing. A recognition that Jesus Christ is the deliverer brings deliverance. A recognition of the fact that Jesus Christ is the great provider brings breakthroughs. Tonight, as we break bread, the eyes of someone will open. They will recognize Jesus. And for the rest of their life, wherever they go, they will go with that rod of fire that only Jesus can give. So we, we are not going to waste time. We want to move forward to the breaking of bread. But as many of you know, as powerful as Elisha was after he took over from Elijah, 
and he had his own rod. When somebody died, there was a man called Gehazi, the servant of Elisha. Elisha gave him his rod. He said, go and lay it on the dead child. The man went, laid the rod on the dead boy, and the boy didn't come back to life. So he went back to Elisha and said, the boy didn't wake. Why? Because the rod of Elisha is useless in the hand of Gehazi. Because Gehazi is not interested in heavenly things, he's only interested in material things. A special miracle is about to happen here tonight. That is going to happen for those who are interested in spiritual matters. That's why it is possible for someone to be here tonight. It's possible for the fire to fall and somebody may not even have a part of it at all. Why? Because as long as there is sin in your life, if the fire falls, it's not going to produce anything good for you. That's why you must hurriedly surrender your life to Jesus so that his blood can wash away your sins. So if the fire falls, you'll be a partaker of it. And even before tomorrow morning, you can begin to appreciate that even though ordinary eye cannot see it, you now carry a rod of fire in your hand. So if you are here and you are not sure of your salvation or you know for sure you are not saved because you are still living in sin, and you want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ so that his blood can wash away your sins? I'm going to count from one to five. Before I say five, come and stand before the altar. Come and cry to Jesus Christ for salvation. The rest of us will join you in prayer. The Lord will save your soul. His blood will wash away your sins. And then when the fire falls, you'll be able to partake. So I'm counting now, if there's anyone at all, and you know you want to give your life to Jesus, or you're a backslider and you want to return to Jesus, come quickly before I say five. I'm counting now, one. Two. Three. Okay, thank you. Those of you who are already in front and those of you who might still be on the way, cry to Jesus Christ now. Ask him to have mercy on you. Ask him to save your soul. Ask him to wash you clean with his blood. Cry unto him and pray that today you will become one of his children. I promise him you will serve him for the rest of your life. And the rest of us, please, let's stretch our hands towards these people. 
and intercede for them. Pray that the one who saved our own souls will save their souls also. Pray that God will give them genuine salvation, genuine salvation, and the blood of the Lord will wipe away all their sins. Please pray for them. Pray for them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. My Father, my God, I want to thank you for your word. And I want to thank you for these people who have come forward to surrender their lives to you. Please, Lord God Almighty, receive them in Jesus' name. Save their souls. Let your blood wipe away their sins. Write their names in the book of life. Let them become true children of God. And I pray that they will never go back into the world. And from now on, anytime they cry unto you, answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now I want to rejoice with those of you who have come forward. I want to promise you that from now on, by grace of God, I'll be praying for you. So if you turn to your left, you will see somebody carrying a placard. It will take you to where some people are waiting to collect your names, your address, and your prayer requests. And I promise you from now on, I'll be praying for you. God bless you. You can begin to go now. God bless you. God bless you. Now, if you are clapping for Jesus, please, always do it very well, very well. Amen. Now, tonight when you eat the bread, your cry to God is that you will open your eyes of understanding, that you will recognize Jesus Christ for who he is, the healer, the provider, the deliverer, the all in all. That's the prayer you will pray. Just open my eyes, O oh Lord. Let me see you. Let me understand who you are. Because once I understand you, I know all my problems will be over. When it's time to take the wine, I will tell you what prayer to pray there. God bless you. The Lord Jesus, the very night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, broken for you, do this in remembrance of me. We eat it in the name of Jesus. And we cry unto him, Father, please just open my eyes. In Jesus' mighty name. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see. My heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. 
open the eyes, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open my heart.
Amen. If you have not been served bread, will you please shout hallelujah? Okay, pastors to my extreme left around the altar. They have not been served bread, please. Uh, in the old auditorium, let me let me see what's going on. If you have not been served bread in the old auditorium, just wave your hand so I can see. If you have not been served wine in the old auditorium, wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Okay. Here, if you have not been served wine, shout hallelujah. Ah, there are some people on the altar here who have not been served wine. So, shall we take that for us one more time? Open my eyes, O Lord. Thank you, pastors. Hallelujah. You can return to your seat. drink the wine tonight your cry will simply be Lord let the fire fall if the fire falls on you from head to toe the fire will fall on your hands too uh, and very very soon you yourself will know something had happened so when you drink the fire, uh, when you drink the wine, just cry unto him and say, Father, let the fire fall. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he has sobbed, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as soft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. And we are going to drink it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let the fire fall, Lord. Let the heavenly fire fall. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit fall mightily on me tonight. Let your fire fall. Let the fire fall. Let your fire fall. Let the fire fall, Lord. Let the fire fall on me. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall, Lord. Let the fire fall. Mighty. From the top of my head to the sole of my feet, all over me, Lord. Let the fire fall. The glory of your holy. Let the fire fall. And the fire fall. Rema coke, Remo coaching, and a macatandi, Monco coco, shaker, and drama cocora macatanda. Let the fire fall. 
Rinkari Makushi Tere Makokoto Tere Mokoronda Mahitekira Makashanta. Let the fire fall. Now, let the fire fall afresh on me. Rama Hikiki Remokotunde Remaka Kotorunde Remaka Remokoshata. Let the fire fall on me. Thank you, Father. Glory be to the Holy Name. Let the fire fall on me. Mighty Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And if I fall. Thank you, Lord, my dear. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want you to pray one more prayer. I said, Father, if there's anything in my body, my soul, my spirit, that is not of God, let your fire consume now. Open your mouth and cry to God. Every yoke, every plant you have not planted, Everything evil, everything that is not perfect, that is not of God, let your fire consume, Lord, right now. The glory of your holy name, let your fire consume. Purify me, Lord. Purify me. Ramoshikiketeremankakatorumonkoshata. And the fire fall. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, it's good to have you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Thank you for a special opportunity that you've given us to dine with you tonight. We believe you, Lord, that our eyes have been opened. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. It is in your name that I decree that tonight your fire will fall again. That everything that is not of God in our body, soul, spirit, in our homes, in our businesses, in our churches, your fire will consume tonight. Father, I pray that before your children gather tomorrow, each and every one of us will have new testimonies. Father, bless the offering of your children. Sanctify it. Use it for your glory. 
And anything whatsoever that can cause poverty in their life, let your fire consume. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let me hear hallelujah like fire. God bless us tremendously. Let's kindly listen to the following announcement. Daddy Gio, Pastor Iyadeboye, will be meeting with all the men at the old auditorium immediately after the Holy Communion service tonight. Daddy Gio will be meeting with all men at the old auditorium immediately after the Holy Communion service tonight.